Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm. We are in Andalusia in Spain, Mediterranean climate, hot, dry summers. We have swales, we have berms, we have plants, we have hope. We have learned that whenever it is a three-finger kind of leaf, then it's a melon or a watermelon. And when it is a roundish leaf, then it's a pumpkin-like thingy. So, how is that for valuable information? For me it is, because we have planted whatever seeds we could get, and uh, not everything that sprout okra without irrigation. Three fingers, so it's a melon. I like my new game. We have also <coughs> been building. Here is a actually, in reality, it's another distribution pond system. We would like to distribute the water that does come down this creek into different directions. So it's not really a dam, it's not a bridge, it's not a lower crossover. It's just a wall that should allow us to get water going that way, down the creek and coming this way. Here where I stand on the east, it is higher than there on the west bank. And uh, I would like to get this wall high enough so that the water can come this way towards the east. And then because it is lower here, this area from here to the tree, I will back it up with... Uh, soil, earth, and then also blocks if needed, and stones and concrete if I need to. So uh, this area will be opened up. I will take the soil and backfill it here. Um, there's something that we do here that I've not seen in any video but it works very well for us. Theoretically this is cinder block upright but we don't use it like this. We use it the other way around because it's much easier for me to put mortar here and uh, that's why it looks like this upside down. But it works! The next step here is to fill the cells of these cinder blocks with concrete. That takes a lot of time and it's difficult because we use stone in the concrete mix and it's quite liquid. Oh Luna! Luna and Max have been on patrol last night and usually if I have one of them only they will walk around three or four kilometers. So Max and Luna they were out together and they did almost 10 kilometers. 
So the disco party lasted long for Luna. Now she's looking for a place to lie down. <laughs> so we fill the cells with concrete. We fill these holes with earth. We take it from here. I will loosen it with the excavator. Then by wheelbarrow it must go there. A lot of work left, but I'm very happy that it's going well. Meanwhile, in my off time, <laughs> my free time, I built this, what is this, manhole casing for the pipes. I now have a large metal plate on top and uh, <laughs> this is a three year project. Hopefully coming to end soon. Amazing how one can postpone something when you believe there's something more important. Here in the sandbox, I realized that I've included a Cape Gooseberry thinking it was a Paulovnia. I mean, <laughs> look at these two. <coughs> they look alike a lot. But this is the gooseberry. And then I checked all the others. They are definitely Paulovnias, especially when they get bigger. And you see the leaf size. So we have, I've counted 11 new growth shoots from the roots of the Polovnia that was left here in this sandbox. And that is good. There are several over there. They are happy here. Even the roots I have planted are sprouting. First time I plant a Palofnia root. Here below the house, this is the dump, the leftovers of the demolished old house was actually placed in this area and it was just stone and mud and then bulldozed this way. So then I realized this is excellent place for plants who need a lot of drainage. Don't, let, uh, don't like their feet to be wet. And this is quite a problem here in the clay soil. So here I have two sunscreens with two avos. This is the hus, the hoss avocado. And the next one is the bacon. Avocado, and uh, I'm very confident they're going to do well. I hope so. Till next time. Goodbye.